What's up everybody? This is Dan the Trading Man with another video here. And today I want to talk about a trade I took in the NASDAQ, just buying at the lows here while we were selling off. Um, you know, we're down, as you can see, nearly 5% on the day. And, you know, I kind of figured we'd fall this much once we took out some other support levels. You can tell we were really selling off with these large red candles. And if I go to like a 15 minute chart, basically there were some aggressive uh, short sequences. And one of them would have been about this extension here, this low to low extension. And when we look at this on a closer time frame, like a five minute, see how we traded this 38, ran to our target. And if you would take this next low to low, which is one of the setups I do occasionally when we're getting really aggressive, which, you know, look at the market, we're falling off over and over and over again. So some people will take this low to low and then they're going to try to find this uh, next short entry, basically. So they might try to short by getting in at the white level or the blue level. The white's 50%, the blue is a 38 too. If you join my trade room, I talk all about that and teach it. But basically what happens is we end up breaking above this red level. And that showed me that we can actually break this trend on the intraday chart just briefly and give ourselves an opportunity of moving higher. And when I look at the market and we've already fallen this much, would I rather buy at these lows or sell at these lows? And there could be some good short setups, but overall, I would prefer to buy at lows than sell at lows because there's more upside potential than downside potential, right? We've already fallen four or five percent. I think it's about three to four percent at this at this point. You know, how much more can I really get if I short? I have much more uh, or a much better risk reward if I buy at these lows instead of short at these lows. So what I did here is when we broke above this red level, and I'll go to a tick chart to even talk about how quick this happened, but basically we broke this 61.8, right? And again, looking at this move, why did we draw it? Well, there's a low point here that we were drawing from before, and that low to low had traded its 38% to its target. Once again, just referencing this. The, the order would be 11,998. These highs are 11,998. They are to the tick on these highs. We move through these targets. You would then have this next possibility of short setups, right? That's what this is. And notice how basically we just break above the 61.8. And yes, there's a reaction at the 38.2, we fall off. 38.2 again, we fall off. Come near the 50, that white level, we fall off again. But here we break above our 61.8. And when we do that, we show that our trend can move higher. All I did was draw a low point to a high point, a low to high, 50% long, got rid of the short. This is the next setup I took. I entered at 11,808.75. I got filled. We moved not even two points, well, a couple points, almost three points. I was using a 10 point stop for 50 points. So my stop was at 98.75 and my target was going to be a 58.75. So this blue level marks my stop and the 58.75 that I was trying to get, which by the way, this trade lasted 41 seconds. I was in it for about 48 seconds and then I was filled. 10 points in the NASDAQ is $200 a contract. I only had one contract on this trade because it is a little risky knowing that, you know, we're just moving like crazy. We're not, you know, we could definitely pull into 93 and then take off. You know, the, the volatility is large. So there is a risk in the sense that I could have the right idea of where we're going, but my stop is so tight, I can't enjoy that ride. So I only took one contract. I'm risking $200, 10 points for $1,000 or 50 points. And you can see we get there. I risk 200 for 1000 and we trade that in 41 seconds. You can see 11.37, we trade the 50, and at about that same bar, 11.57, or sorry, 11.37, we trade the 50 point target that I had. And look at what we did. We actually completed the entire target of this setup at 9.04. That's nearly $2,000 a contract. Nearly $2,000 a contract if you would have done it that way, which is just insane. 
And by the way, 1137, we complete the target at 1140. Three minutes for $2,000 per contract. That's insane. So that's just one of the trades I took today that I wanted to go over. And hopefully it helps you with how you identify the market. And if you're new, definitely think about joining my trade room. You can join for a month free trial, cancel anytime. And there's tons of content in there. There's you know videos, there's images, PDFs, documents, etc., covering my trade setups and how I trade. And there's even live trading sessions twice a week, review sessions on the weekend. And I send my levels out every morning so you know what I'm paying attention to. So there's a lot of benefits with joining the room. Highly recommend it. But once again, just going to go over this trade one more time, a little more uh, quick this time so you can see it. We have a low to low that traded here. And we tag that 98 rip lower, go to our target. We end up breaking the next low to low draw. If we were to draw this next low to low here, we actually end up breaking that setup. You can see we break above the 618. So when we break above the 618, we actually have a long setup. So we draw this low to high, we trade that 50%, 808.75, and we rally to our targets. That's all I did. And now what we're seeing trade currently in the afternoon is basically this low to low. This is what we pulled into. And so we'll see what this does and you can see how we've actually reacted off of the 50% short here. So that's gonna cover this video. If you have any questions or comments, definitely let me know. Otherwise, trade safe and I'll catch you guys later.